Okay, so here you can see the different types of plate boundaries and with different features at each one. So we've got the volcano and smaller earthquakes at the constructive plate boundary. We don't really get too many volcanoes at collision plate boundaries, again, because there's no magma, but we might get earthquakes that are quite deep. Um, we get destructive plate boundary, which has um, big, strong volcanoes and destroys the land in the subduction zone um, as the oceanic crust goes underneath it. And we've also got a conservative plate boundary. We don't get any volcanoes but we do get lots of earthquakes. Now my diagrams are a little bit scruffy because I've done them very quickly but all I want you to do is to make sure that you've got copies of each of those diagrams in your book so that you can start to understand the process. If you're unsure a little bit come and speak to either me or have a little look on the internet, have a look through some different resources and see if you can get some good quality diagrams of each of these different types of plate boundary.